everyone, my name is Mireille and today I'm going to show you, provide you a brief overview of Sage15 account. Within Sage15 account, what we're going to use for the training will be customers. So anytime that you need to record a new customers, you will come here, customer, and click change view customer and click on record and, and within and any time and we will use also invoice any time that you want to register an invoice for your customer you will click on customer invoice and register your invoices and then you save and click close and then what we're gonna use next time will be crazy notes Anytime you want to register every item that you sold and has been returned because of damaging or because they were perishable and has been returned by the customer, you will click on customer, create a note and register the return item, save it and close it. And at the end of the day of for the period, we will use the the report option in order to give the summary activity for the customer the next one will be the same with the suppliers we click on suppliers change view suppliers anytime that you have a new suppliers that you want to register within your stage 15 accounts you will click on suppliers and record fill out the form click on save and close it the next one anytime that you got an invoice that you want to issue to that you receive from your suppliers you will click on invoices sorry you will click on suppliers invoices fill out and save it and close it and then at the end any time that your supplier that you return an item from your supplier to your suppliers and you want to record that within your stage 15 account you will go on suppliers create it and fill it out record it okay then you close it and at the end of every period when you want to do a report regarding just your supplier you will come on report and click and select the appropriate report to do it for company company will be used for recording every stuff that you buy from your suppliers and every stuff that you purchase from your suppliers sorry anytime you will re record every item that you purchase from your suppliers and you will record also every sales that you made during the period of time and with bank, the bank will be to allow you to record, we will use payment for every payment that the company made with every person who is not a registered supplier. If you make a purchase with a registered supplier, we will use supplier. And that will be the same thing. If we receive money from if we if we sell our product to everyone who is not our recorded registered customer, we will go on into receipt. But if we sell our product, we sell an item to our reg to our registered customer, we will click on customer, and that will be. So in the next lesson, I will show you how to record, set up a company, record your customer, record your supplier and nominally.